Aloha, welcome back to Aina Bear Farm. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Just been uh, super busy. I had um, one person who was helping me out on the farm about 10 hours a month, and they moved away a few months ago. And so since then, I've just been doing everything on my own, and it's a lot of work. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just been busy to stop and make videos but uh, we've been up to a lot of cool stuff and I thought today I'd post a quick update on our agroforestry system so this is a system that uh, is supporting ulu trees or breadfruit soursop and longan and we've got three fruit tree rows that also have the bananas in them we have rows of tithonia rows of ice cream beans in between as support species. And here right on the corner you can see one of the ulu trees is starting to kind of emerge. And so if you haven't seen any previous videos about this system, we had planted the pigeon pea around our fruit trees and we let it get pretty big. You can actually kind of tell by the size of these stumps that they were probably 10 feet tall and they were all flowering and so about to create seeds which means a good time to take them down and turn them into mulch because once they start trying to produce seed that's where all their energy goes and they'll kind of suck whatever they can out of the soil to make the seeds but down in here we can see kind of like the older mulch from the pigeon pea and the new stuff on top of that. We've had plenty of rain, so everything is breaking down really nice, creating a nice fungal environment. And you can see how happy and healthy these ulu leaves look. You know, they're big and green. That's no fertilizer whatsoever. That's one of our goals with this system is all of the nutrition is grown here. And so we started with jack bean, was our kind of first wave. This is, oh, there go the docks. This is Glaricidia, and a tiny little ice cream bean. And the bananas, these are only for mulch, these bananas. Uh, we do not let them fruit. We're getting a little entertainment interruption here. I go really like this all day. <laughs> um, then the tithonia in the in-between rows, which we've harvested two or three times. And so like here's an example of where we've got banana leaves on top of the banana stumps cut in half. So, you know, really good weed suppression. And then... The guinea grass, which, you know, will grow up pretty tall, kind of like that. We cut that down, lay that on top of, that's the black is that tithonia down there. And so that's breaking down really nice with the leaves and the stems. There's a little sour sop. So yeah, everything is doing really well. I'm really happy with the system, how it's working. We originally put irrigation in just to um, make sure everything had a good start. Get us through the dry season, although we haven't really had much of a dry season this year, which I'm really thankful for. It's the first time in the five and a half years that we've been here that we have not had drought. So everything is growing really well. Here's an ice cream bean that's already well over my head. Probably, I don't know, nine, ten feet tall when it's standing upright. All the tithonia is looking really nice and happy, growing really quickly. We've also got three different varieties of bananas in here. The top layer are um, the very standard, like full height. You can see some taller ones back there. Um, apple banana that grows all over Hawaii. These middle ones are a cooking type of banana. And then, actually I misspoke, the bottom layer are the same as the top. 
And so if we ever did want to let them fruit, you know, if we were just not getting enough fruit from our other crops or whatever reason, um, we could also let these fruit without taxing the system very much. You can see the next level of ice cream bean down here. Uh, we do have three different varieties of ulu trees. We've got Maafala, Fiti, and this is Otea. And these ones, the Otea, are looking a little yellowy. And so those are ones, you know, I kind of keep an eye on. I may add maybe some supercharged compost with some of the, I have some bat guano fertilizer, just to give them a little extra nitrogen kick when they're young is this field was just guinea grass and we did have a small horse on the field for almost a year you know eating down the grass making manure but it's very um i don't know like inconsistent where you know like you can walk through the system and see spots where everything is much more green it's growing much faster. The really tall bananas down there, you may have heard me say in a previous video, is sitting where a dog kennel was previously, and so that's actually being grown on like a year's worth of dog manure. <laughs> uh, and then as you come further out, I mean, obviously that one's doing really well, but these actually are not doing well. And so it tells me that area is very, um, you know, full of nutrient, but also that this area is probably a little nutrient deficient. And so we'll just keep building. You know, I definitely don't want to invest a lot into fertilizers in this system because for me, that was kind of the whole point of doing a, a agroforestry, like a syntropic style system. Um, now, a lot of the stuff that we put in here, the support species, like the Glaricidia, um, has not really come through. Uh, after the first wave, we had the jack bean did really well. We put in Caliandra, we put in Sespania sespin. Uh, hardly any of that survived. We only have a few Glaricidia. Ice cream bean does really well here, so I actually went back and put in some from seed. So it's just now coming up. Um, and I've got a couple of others that uh, I haven't tried before that I might see if I add them to the system how they do. But yeah, that was a little disappointing and I don't fully know why. I think maybe timing, a lot of them got really shaded out when they were really young and they just never really took off. That's okay. Like I said, I'm really happy with the system. Everything's doing really well, really cool. Hope you found the update interesting, and uh, stay tuned. I've got some holiday breaks from my full-time teaching job coming up, so hopefully I have more time to post more videos. Until then, we'll see you back here next time at Ida Bear Farm. Aloha.